In this video, I want to demonstrate how PowerWF's integration with Microsoft System Center Service Manager can be used to extend and create activities to be used within the Microsoft authoring tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a quick um, workflow. Give it a second here. And so in PowerWF, we have a wide range of pre-shipped activities, and we discover all your PowerShell commandlets um, and make them activities to be drag and dropped in the palette, including those that are found in CodePlex, a uh, post from Microsoft. And these are all the um, commandlets available to automate your service manager environment. So you can see there's a wide range of options to do. So in this case, we in this particular video, what I wanted to just show is the, the kind of the hello world um, example of git process. So I'm just going to say git process sort object select Five. You'll also notice we had IntelliSense and we have Context Sensitive Help. Um, so I'm going to insert those. It turns into a workflow which can now be clicked and edited. So I'm going to run this. So we also have a complete uh, integrated development environment, complete with running breakpoints. Uh, you can examine your PowerShell environment, uh, watch points, etc. So we've, here we see the first uh, top five processes. I can click on um, the select object and I can maybe change that to maybe the first 15. And if you click on the blue icon, we can actually turn workflow back into PowerShell um, for further editing if that's where you feel comfortable. So you can see here now it's 15, which it used to be 5. But in this demo, what I want to do is I want to take this guy and I want to create that as an input parameter for this workflow. I'm going to leave all these options the same, but you can set your help text, your parameter name, uh, your default value. I'm going to make it mandatory. And then I'm going to run this again. And it asks me, so maybe I want the first six processes, just to be different. And there you go. Well, that's fine dandy, but how does that help you with Service Manager? Well, if you go to the Deploy tab, you can see that PowerWF supports a wide range of uh, deployment options, ranging from a console application to PowerShell. But for Service Manager, we can also create activity packs. So I'm going to click on an activity pack, and you can take one or more workflows and combine them as an activity pack. For this demo, I'm just going to do one. And I'm going to call it Demo Pack 4. Obviously, this is the fourth time I went through this video. Um, and in a second here, it'll ask me uh, some UAC permissions. And there we go. So now if I jump over to my authoring tool, what I can do is I can right-mouse click here and say choose activities. I can get this right. And I'm going to say add custom activities. And here's that pack that I just created. I'm going to say open. And you notice now I have a new activity called demo4. I just click on that guy. And now I'm free to use this uh, my workflow, which was created in PowerWF, as an activity within Service Manager's authoring tool. And I can just drag it over. You also notice um, complete with uh, validation. So if you remember, we marked that as mandatory. So um, it's now required. So obviously that wouldn't be past requirements. So 15. So um, in general, it's we can discover PowerShell commandlets, turn them into workflow. Workflow can then be turned into an activity which can then be used in the authoring tool to create management packs for Service Manager, if that's not a mouthful. But it's pretty powerful stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.